and chaos in Bustleton last night. Another scene here as gunfire erupts at a house party sending a large group of teenagers running for their lives. Two women were shot and we're now learning that many of the party's guests actually paid to get in. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore is live at that scene this morning with the very latest. Crystal, what do we know now? Good morning, Jen. Well, we know a flyer circulated around social media promoting a ticketed pool party at this home. Behind me, it apparently drew at least 100 people to this usually quiet neighborhood, according to local residents. You can see hours later after that shooting, police still at the scene, a very active scene here. We're told that detectives are expected to be here. They plan on serving a search warrant to the owners of this home. And just to paint a picture of how chaotic the scene was, you can see an apparent bullet hole inside this car. You also see items of clothing, sneakers, shoes scattered all across Verree Street here in Bustleton. Now, again, we know that two women, according to police, were shot, a 20-year-old and an 18-year-old. Police rushed to the 9100 block of Verree Road here in Bustleton around 8.30 Saturday night. New video shows authorities tending to the victims who were visibly in pain. Neighbors reported seeing a stampede of people in bathing suits and swimming trunks leaving the party after a barrage of bullets. Bullets. And there's also Instagram video posted publicly that shows a fight that happened apparently in the backyard of the home. We spoke with a resident who lived in the area. She tried to help those who were injured. All running, just running, and I they were running in the street, and there was glass everywhere, so I just started pulling Band-Aids out and wipes and as best as I could do. Um, but I'd seen the ambulance took the most severe victims, and they were okay, so I just, as kids were coming up, I let them know if they needed anything. They were calling their parents. They were calling for lift. Everybody was getting out. Everybody was very, you know, the kids were trying to stay as calm as possible. Parents were coming, picking them up. Lifts were coming, picking them up. The area is pretty cleared out now, but it was, it was about maybe 300 kids up here just running scared. media again promoting this ticketed pool party that again drew at least 100 people to this usually quiet neighborhood back here live we actually did speak with a person who was at the party last night he did not want to talk on camera he didn't have much to say we only know that he apparently left a backpack here in all the chaos that was going on he was just trying to get his belongings and and left after police said that he could not get into this property because, of course, it is still an active scene. Now, again, as far as those victims, a 20-year-old shot in the leg. She's in extremely critical condition. We also know an 18-year-old woman shot in the knee, and she's in stable condition, both at Jefferson Torresdale Hospital. No word on suspects, no word on arrests at this point, but we, of course, will keep you updated. That's the very latest. We're live in Bustleton. Crystal Cranmore, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Yeah, we know you will. Thank you so much, Crystal. Appreciate it.